they're gonna ban all semi-autos. Now here's the funny part. A lot of people, when they hear semi-auto, what do they picture? They might picture something like this AR-556, a, yes, a scary black gun. It's kind of a joke in the gun community because most people, anybody who's anybody, knows that semi-autos don't only look like this. As a matter of fact, you know what else is a semi-auto? Something like this, very common styled semi-auto pistol. There's a blue billion of them out there. Not only are those semi-automatic, so is this, and this, and this. Yes, it's clear, it's clear, see, it's clear. <laughs> now this Ruger Wrangler cowboy styled six shooter is not a semi-auto. This is gonna seem dumb to a lot of you out there, but what is a semi-automatic? Well, there are people that don't know, so in case you're one of those, semi-automatic is simply you pull the trigger, you get one shot, and you can do that as many times as you want until your magazine's empty. Now that's different as night and day from fully automatic, which, by the way, as you know, is already illegal, where you pull the trigger and you get all your shots in one pull of the trigger. You can empty your whole magazine. You walk into the gun store, most of the guns you're looking at are semi-auto. So when they say they want to ban just the semi-autos, well, isn't that most of the guns out there these days? And you gotta laugh when somebody says something like, we need to get rid of these modern semi-autos to cut down on all these mass situations, not knowing that the first semi-auto was produced in 1894. So they've been with us for a long time. You want to know what's causing all the uh, societal violence that we're seeing? You might want to look elsewhere. How about the downfall of society and general corruption and uh, broken families, that kind of thing? Lawlessness? I also got to laugh when someone who might be well-meaning says something to the effect of, you don't need a semi-auto to go deer hunting. To those people, I would advise, I would suggest that you read the Constitution and study up, read up on what was originally meant by our forefathers when they drafted our, our Constitution and Bill of Rights. It wasn't so we could go deer hunting. Study history, study uh, different societies that have gone the wrong way, uh, totalitarian Marxist type societies, what's the first thing that the leaders do? They disarm the general population. So what do we do? Well, the answer I think is anything we can. Call your reps, lift your voice, do whatever you can, because that's one of our major rights. You don't have an armed population, you have sheep, okay? All right, let's hear what you think in the comments below.